So I'm just going to preface this video by saying this might be the worst production quality you've ever seen in one of my videos, and that's not saying a lot either, because, yeah, a few things. First, you can't see anything. Secondly, the audio might be awful. There's these helicopters flying about 24-7, dropping shit on fires. And, um, yeah, whatever. Basically, though, I'm in Greece at the moment. I'm off on it, and I don't have my computer either, so I'm not going to be able to edit this. There's going to be no cuts or anything, but that got me thinking. Because I don't have my computer or anything, I have been kind of, like, forced to dopamine detox on a level higher than I ever have had to before. Which means I've had absolutely no access to YouTube or Netflix or, well I've had like Instagram and Snapchat and shit, but even that I've like drastically kind of cut that use down on. So I've got my old trusty journal and um, yeah, we're basically gonna go into this kind of video, which is gonna be about dopamine detoxing and this whole kind of like forced experiment I've had. And basically what I'm trying to say here is that Ever since not being able to use these things, I've kind of realised what our modern society, which is like back home for me, is like so shit with. I don't know, that, that's one of those things I've written down here. It's kind of like, um, what did I say? Talk about change, talk about modern society and our dopamine over. Oh my god, the, the camera's blowing away. <laughs> yeah, like I said, all production quality. But anyway, that's what I was going to say. It's like um, basically, modern society is so full of dopamine. Just fake dopamine everywhere. Well, not fake, but like super high dopamine everywhere. You've got like fast food, porn, YouTube, videos that are flying past it every 10 seconds. Like, I'm gonna give you a challenge here actually. If you're not already in the comment section, reading through all of that shit, go back up to the video and just try and see if you can actually watch this whole video through without skipping it. It's not gonna be long, it might be like 10, 15 minutes, but I would bet most of you, because that's what actually it. I saw the other day, I was reading through my YouTube analytics or whatever, and I was like on a video, I was like, 65% of people are still watching at the 30 second mark. And then there was a little eye thing underneath it, and it says, this is good. And I was like, fuck me. Either there's 35% of people that like uh, absolutely hate me, which fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, my videos aren't that great. But that kind of means that 65% being good is an insane figure, because it means that it's not expected, and it means that YouTube really is expecting like 20, 30% of people to still be watching at the 30 second mark. 30 seconds? Like this is unheard of. Attention spans are horrific, and then we expect to be able to do things like reading and writing and actually doing something with any sort of purpose in our lives. And basically, yeah, this is kind of the point I'm making, is that like our modern society has been so overloaded with dopamine, I think that's the word, overloaded, that our brains are being destroyed. And as a result, I think our society is chronically depressed. It's like they said in Fight Club, which is a good film, but it's misunderstood. You know what, I'll make a video about it. Anyway, like they said in Fight Club, it's a spiritual war, is what it is. It's this dopamine has made us all so oversensitive, over, well, undersensitive to real things in our life. Oh, for me, it's windy. That, um, yeah, we are chronically depressed. And every single person is depressed. And you'll walk down the street and people will be depressed. And when you're happy and when you're energetic and you walk around and you look at people, they kind of like react weirdly. People are afraid of like happiness and it's a really weird phenomenon it's like when I'm walking down the street and I'm kind of happy and I just get these looks and I have people saying what the fuck and I have my friends saying you guys are like so annoying and all this shit and it's like well Jesus <laughs> this is what life is supposed to be but no because we as a society are chronically depressed anyway massive tangent what is next talk about changes in dopamine yeah okay so that's basically the point is bro science bro science let's do it Effectively, um, the amount of dopamine you're getting, and I've said this in another video, I think it kind of decreases your motivation in every other thing. And we've said this before about porn specifically, but this has effects throughout your whole life. This YouTube video you're watching now, because it's so, whatever, different from every, like, um, from fast pace, not, not, I don't even mean that, I mean like because it's so different from like the, your slow form content, because by nature it's gonna be a short 10 minute YouTube video. It is making you expect dopamine from a way smaller dose. And so if you're then told to go and read a self-improvement book, you just naturally won't find that as stimulating. And it's the same across the board. If I eat a McDonald's fucking triple cheeseburger with bacon and hold the mayo, then I'm expecting that. And now when I go and eat a salad, I'm gonna be like, mate, what the fuck is this? Even though one of those things is so much better. This kind of idea of like delayed gratification is often like the things that aren't as stimulating to us anymore are actually what our bodies want but because we've trained our bodies to want so much more we now can't be happy with what we actually need 
So like we kind of need a surplus and this surplus is never a good thing really. And that is across the board, inside of sports, inside of yeah, food, porn, literally everything. Our attention spans are totally whack, our brains have been completely rewired and so we are chronically depressed. And that was the next point, how we've all depressed. Eh? How we're all depressed as a result of society, spiritual war, yeah, this, again, well we said that, we don't see it again. But, yeah, I mean this is the basic point of the video, which is this next point, is that you now need to start doing a dopamine detox. And I'm sure you have probably seen videos about it. I, I remember one that was going around a while ago, it was quite like improvement pill or something, which is like one of the biggest self-improvement channels, which he doesn't make any videos anymore, but like it used to be, at least when I first got into this shit, like the self-improvement channel, right? And he had this video on dopamine detox. And it was this kind of thing of like um, a 24 hour challenge, which is like fucking strange. Like what is that gonna do? It's like me saying, right, oh God, me phone. It's like me saying, right, we're going to do a gym challenge. We're going to build the perfect body, and the challenge is go to the gym for 24 hours. Well, I'm sorry, that's not going to do shit. These kind of changes that you have to make in your life, one is working out your body, sure, working out your brain, is a daily life, hello, time, commitment. And so basically that's what I'm saying, is that this dopamine detox idea, which we first saw in things like improvement Bill, we're going to go through it again and basically talk about how you have to do this for the rest of your life. And it's basically about making choices. So there's a few set rules that you need to follow, then the rest of it is just making choices. It's about drastically decreasing your intake of artificial dopamine. So that means watching the food you're eating, watching the content you're absorbing, watching everything you're doing. So that means deleting Instagram, deleting Snapchat, deleting everything that you don't, everything that isn't necessary, everything that's just flooding you with unnecessary dopamine, just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling through random bullshit crap on Instagram and TikTok, fucking TikTok, 10 second videos, piss off. Yeah, just that. I mean, sure, if you're getting real value from some of the videos you're watching, say this video, if you're achieving real value from it, then that is a good thing. But on the whole, and this is going to go against what I'm trying to say here, because I'm a trying to make a YouTube channel here and telling everyone to get off YouTube probably isn't the best idea but it's true because that's the reason I started this channel was to kind of stop people well it's to change people's lives to help people grow as people and yeah YouTube and everything like this is holding you back like I'm sorry like if you're watching this video now Jesus Christ if you're watching this video now and firstly you can't even finish the video you've not even got to this point in that case I don't know who I'm talking to but secondly you're not going to implement any of the things I say you're not going to delete going to, Jesus Christ, stop watching Netflix, then there is no point, and all you're doing is kind of, yeah, reinforcing the fact that you're a fucking loser, dude, and um, yeah, basically that's it, you need to take some action, and it's fucking windy, and Jesus Christ, and work for your life, basically, is what I'm saying, and I'm going to try and finish this a bit quicker, because I really can't talk in this shit. Right, anyway, um, next, yeah, bad habits, so the, the, the things that, the thing is, is right, is these dopamine habits, and I was saying this to someone in the Discord today, by the way, sorry, not today, a few days ago, to the Discord, hello, um, was this, is that the bad habit always has a worse effect than the good effect of a good habit. Hello, okay, and a good habit, so say I spend my whole day um, reading, meditating, doing work, being productive. And then I take like a um oh Jesus. Right, and then I like have a wank and watch like four or five hours of YouTube. Those negative habits at the end of that are going to be so much more detrimental than the good habits were in the first place that there's almost no point in having done any of the original stuff. If you get what I mean. Like a bad habit is so much worse than a good habit is good, and so that's why we need to start by removing these bad habits from our lives. So you basically just need to look at your life now and very holistically and just kind of see everywhere where you think you're like doing badly. All these bad habits that you've got and you need to basically start one by one removing them. And this isn't a 24 hour dopamine challenge. This is literally gotta be something now that you do for the rest of your life. And this, again, was probably the worst video ever, but I hope you've kind of caught the drift of what I'm trying to say here. I basically think about it is that like humans evolved what? The first humans? I don't know, to be honest with you. And if you're religious, maybe you'll have a different view on this. But it was, what, 150,000 years ago? And, um, yeah, modern technology, YouTube, shit like this is, what, 50 years old maximum? 
we haven't adapted to be able to like withstand this shit that we're doing. And so we are chronically depressed, man. And that's basically what you've got to change. You've got to basically look at your life, see all the things that you're doing that modern humans, sorry, that real humans shouldn't be doing. And one by one, remove those things. And that is basically the end of that video. And I'm going to say now, like, subscribe, and join the Discord. And then I'm going to show you where I am. Because it's pretty fucking cool. I don't know what you can see here. Yeah, basically, look at that. I'm in Greece. It's fucking brilliant. I'm in Greece now. And it's pretty fun. And then I'm going to go to um, France tomorrow. Actually, I'm leaving for France. It's near a bit of work with a friend of mine. But yeah, no, if you didn't know, I'm pretty good. Cool. So pretty cool. It's pretty fucking windy. But yeah, look at that. I think you can see the sea there, maybe. I don't know if it's on my front camera, I can't really see shit. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully, the production quality is a bit better than the next one. And um, yeah, see you in the next video.